Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number seven in the Business Logic Vulnerabilities module titled Weak Isolation on Dual Use Endpoint. All right, let's get started. This lab makes a flawed assumption about the user's privilege level based on their input. As a result, you can exploit the logic of its account management features to gain access to arbitrary users' accounts. To solve the lab, access the administrator account and delete Carlos. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. So the target goal over here is to exploit some kind of logic vulnerability in the way that you can manage your account and then escalate our privileges to administrator and delete the Carlos user. All right, let's access the lab. Now notice over here, this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already being passed through my Burp proxy. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is click on my account and log in using the credentials that we were given. So the password was Peter, hit login. Now notice over here, you have the ability to change the email address, but you also have the ability to change the password. So let's test the change uh, email address functionality first. So let's say test at test.ca, click on update email. It's a post request. And if we look over here, it just takes in the email address of the user and then it changes it. So it doesn't look to me this is vulnerable, which means the vulnerability must exist in the change password functionality. So that takes in a username and then you have to put in the current password, which is Peter. And then let's say the new password is test and we confirm the new password, um, which is test again. So let's change password and look at the post request that it performs, okay? Let's send this to repeater and look at it. So it's to the endpoint slash my account slash change password. And if we go down over here, you could see it takes in a CSRF token. It takes in the username of the user you want to change the password to. It takes in the current password and then the new password and then the new password again. Now, the first thing that I'm going to try is change this to administrator. This will likely not work. But if there is some kind of flaw in the backend where it allows you to change any user's account and depends on the username, not based on this specific parameter, but on this user that is, set, that is tied to the session ID, then you should be able to enter the current password of the user that is tied to the session ID. However, change it for this username over here. It's very unlikely that this will work, but let's test it out. Hit send and let's render over here. It says current password is incorrect and your username is administrator. So this is definitely not validated. We could put any username that we want. However, in order to be able to change the administrator's password, we need to know the current password. And so it doesn't really matter this way. I could just log into the administrator's account if I actually had the current password, which I don't. So the next thing that I'm gonna try is see if it actually enforces that you have to have the current password. So let's remove this and hit send. It says user does not exist. So that's interesting. Maybe I'm spelling that correctly. So let's say administrator right over here. I'm missing an I. Hit send. And it says the password changed successfully. So my guess is it actually changed it for the administrator password because it didn't have any enforcement on the fact that you had to put in the new password. It also didn't verify that the username over here has to be the same username that is tied to this session ID. Um, and so there's two vulnerabilities over here that um, allow us to escalate our privileges to admin. So let's go to my account and then log out and then log in using the administrator's account. So administrator and we change the password to test hit login and here we go it allows us to log in as the administrator user if we go to admin panel we could delete the carlos user and we get the congratulations you solved the lab message all right so we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually now let's script it in python 
If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.